Hey guys, Jen here. It's been a long time since I've made a video. And I believe I have a video on this already. But I thought, hey, I could bring you guys along. Because it's been a while since I've done a video. We've just, it's, it's just been super busy. Family, holidays, you guys know the drill. Uh, I've gotten lots of several wholesale orders. <clears throat> I have one wholesale order that orders my salve often, so I thought I'd bring you guys along making it, and I'm pretty sure I've done this before, but we'll do it again. So, for my salve recipe, um, I use 75% infused oils, that's what's these are and then 25% neem oil that's what that is and then uh, I use beeswax 25% of the total weight of my oils so I'm making a 16 ounce recipe and I'll show you how I do this um, I've used this thing forever you guys can see it's kind of seen it's better days but I, I wash it in the sink after each use uh, with dish soap um, and then I set it out to dry and I just reuse it this is just like one of those pantyhose sock things that you can buy and because I like to leave my additives in my oils for as long as possible um, I, I well I leave them in here until um, I'm out of this oil then I take it out and I refill it with fresh and new oil and I put it in my crock pot for you know overnight that's how I infuse my oil so we have calendula we have st. John's wort and then we also have plantain uh, infused oils and you can do any variation that you want um, whether that be all calendula or St. John's wort or 50-50 or, you know, 30-30-30 or, I mean, 33, you know. But this is what I do. Um, generally, like, you can strain it ahead of time. Um, but I just put my little thingy on here, wrap it around. That way it catches anything that would, uh, fall on here and we're gonna measure out I'm gonna of course wear gloves my surface has been cleaned this container that's all I use it for is making lip balms and salve um, so I wipe it out really well in between uh, with paper towels and then I spray it with rubbing alcohol and I don't try to wash it wash it um, because I don't want oil and beeswax going down my drain. So paper towels are your friend. I do this on a double boiler it's sitting back here. I'll turn you guys. You guys can see I got some water and a little um, ring sitting in there. It's a canning ring. I got my wax melter going in the back. But I'm going to turn this on and for the 16 ounce recipe I may end up doubling it. Um, we'll see. Um, but Oh, I also use some avocado butter, so I'll pause you guys and go grab that. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to measure out these first and then I'll take my little thing off. So, I need five ounces of my calendula oil. And I use my hand to kind of deter some of the stuff from coming out. I'm okay if some of it falls out. That's what this little thing's there for. Alright, five ounces. Got my paper towel here to wipe my finger off. And then five ounces of the St. John's Wort oil. This is the one that 
that actually really makes a mess. The other is the other is pretty easy. So you can make any salve with this recipe. You know, 75% of my infused oils, and then I did 25% neem, and then 25% beeswax. That kind of gives you a good um, ratio. And then I'm going to do two per two ounces of plantain oil, and this is a dark oil. And I've infused all of these with olive oil. Oh well, as you guys can hear my washer going in the back. It's just a busy day here. I decided to take the day make some products. I have a wholesale order to get done. You know. Okay. So that's done. So then I just pop this off and I use my hand and kind of squeeze out all the extra oil. And then this I put in my sink and I wash it for the next time. That just makes my life so much easier. So you can, I'm not sure if you guys can see but the plantain oil, I don't think you can. It's a much darker oil. All right, now we're gonna put our neem oil in. I need four ounces. Point nine nine. I believe I can call that good. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and do my beeswax. I'm going to do 4.2 ounces of beeswax. This is what, you know, sets it up to where it's nice and firm. Just a little bit more. Three. I believe it'll be okay. Alright, I'm going to pause you guys and go grab my avocado butter. Okay, so avocado butter, I just need one ounce. Now you guys can use any butter uh, that you like. Keep in mind that um, a hard butter will make it be a bit harder of a recipe and a soft butter, you know, like avocado butter, you know, won't make it harder. Avocado butter is one that you can easily scoop, as you see. It's just a wonderful butter. I love it. I use it in, like, all my recipes now. Alright, now I'm going to put this back here on the double boiler. Make sure it's down to a medium heat. I'm going to have to move that little ring. There we go. So it doesn't bubble over on me. And I'll bring you guys back when it's set up. Hey guys, so while we're waiting, I thought I would show you the little jars I use. If any of you have ever purchased your my salve, you'll know. Um, I use these little one ounce containers. I have these cute little lids. Oh, I got my glove. Like that. Uh, and I just put the label right on top. But I'm going to line up, I don't know, a couple dozen or so. I get these from SKS, I believe. Yeah. And 
and uh, I, I don't weigh them as I measure them. I just fill the little tins. So my customers get more than an ounce, but I'd rather give them too much than not enough. But the wholesale order, um, she ordered 20 of them. So I have some already made, but um, it will wipe me out. So, and it does not take no time for these to set up once you uh, pour them, which is awesome. I don't know how many I'll need. I'm just putting some out. I'm gonna stir this back here, help this along, and I'll pause you guys and bring you back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to start pouring. I zoomed you guys in. I'm actually just stirring up the last tiny bit of the avocado butter. It's kind of funny, avocado butter is not a hard butter but doing when you do this it's well it depends on the butter you use but for me it's the last thing that melts um the beeswax will melt before this avocado butter which i find hilarious um you would think the beeswax would be the last thing <clears throat> i've already pulled it off the heat once the uh i noticed the majority of the beeswax has started to melt. Uh, I pull it off and I stir it by hand um, and continue until the rest of it is melted. I don't want to overheat this, you know, so we just, I pull it off before it's fully melted and I finish it by hand. Now it is finally all melted and we're going to start pouring. Now I'm going to ever so gently fill these containers and Put that out of the way. Um, I did spray all these containers with rubbing alcohol while we were waiting. And then take your time. You don't want to spill it. I have spilled it before. And it's a mess to clean up. It's like, you know, you melt your lip balm in your purse kind of thing. You don't want that to happen. But, as you can see, I just fill them up. That way I know everybody gets at least an ounce. I'll turn the camera here in just a second. Whoa, I must have filled that one. Like it's ready to topple over. Full. Alright, let's get you guys turned down to the last few. And if something would happen and I didn't have enough containers, now the water is turned off, but it's still super hot, you know, where I was using the double boiler, um, I would stick it back down in the water just to keep everything nice and hot and melty. But I think I have enough containers. I hope so. I think so. Yay. I'm not sure if this is enough to fill it up. It's not. So this last one here will be put off to the side and we will use it. Or I'll just save it till the next batch and then I'll finish filling it. 
Um, but see you in a minute. Hey guys, we are back. And these are solid enough for me to put some lids on. So, that's what we're gonna do. I've already cleaned my work surface again. Now this is the one that I'm going to put down in the container of my jars. But as you can see, they're nice and full. This is the one that almost overfilled. See that? So close. I'll wait and put the lid on it last. Make sure it's super firm before I try to put the lid on it and possibly smush it. But this is how I make these. I'm gonna have to order jars for the next time. Sorry, just now started spinning. I'll let you guys go. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll catch you on the next video.